Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve a numerical on the applications of integral calculus in economics. The question is, Marner revenue is given by MR is equal to 60 minus 2Q minus 2Q square where Q is the quantity. Find the first part is total revenue function. The second part is the demand function. Now to find the total revenue function, we will integrate the Marner revenue function with respect to quantity. So we will integrate marginal revenue with respect to quantity that is dq so this will become 60 minus 2q minus 2q square and we will integrate it with respect to quantity that is dq now the integration of uh, this 60 will be q because we are integrating with respect to q and as we have seen the rules of uh, integration in earlier video so this will become 60 q minus now 2 is uh, as it is now the integration of q is q square divided by 2 similarly we have minus 2 now the integration of this q square is q cube divided by 3 plus the constant of integration therefore total revenue is equal to 60 q minus this 2 and 2 will cancel this will become q square minus 2 by 3 q q plus this constant of integration now when quantity is 0 when q is 0 so this term will become 0 this will also become 0 and this will also become 0 when q is 0 then total revenue is also 0 therefore at q is equal to 0 total revenue is also 0 implies the value of c is c is equal to 0 therefore the constant of integration is equal to 0 therefore total revenue is equal to total revenue is equal to 60 q minus q square minus 2 by 3 q cube plus the constant of integration that is c is equal to 0 so we will write it 0 here so this is the total revenue function now the b part was to find the demand function now since we know the total revenue is equal to price into quantity therefore price is equal to we will transpose this uh, to the LHS this will become the denominator here TR divided by Q therefore price that is demand function is equal to total revenue divided by Q here it is also the average revenue function this is because total revenue divided by quantity is also average revenue and it is also the demand function now our total revenue function is this 60 q minus q square minus 2 by 3 q cube and we will divide it by this q so this will become 60 q divided by q minus q square divided by q minus 2 by 3 q cube divided by q so this is this q and q will get cancelled this is 60 minus this uh, one q will get cancelled with this q so this will become q minus here also one q will get cancelled so this will become 2 by 3 q square so this is our demand function and which is also the average revenue function therefore demand function demand function is equal to price is also average revenue function that is equal to 60 minus q minus 2 by 3 q square 